Yo, so are you guys ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to start manifesting what you desire in 2019 because you didn't get it done in 2018, what you were supposed to get done? So I'm going to share with you what I taught one of my clients this morning as far as them making some immediate changes and then stair-stepping their changes over the long over the long haul. So if you're ready, buckle up, let's get it done, but you gotta participate in the action of this, okay? But before I go there, let me introduce myself. For those who don't know me, you find me for the first time, my name is Coach Renz, and I help people to find their personal inner divinity as well as we talk about those things, we break those things down so you can know thyself, as first and foremost, and then we also, I also am the owner of Uncle Ren's Popcorn, a gourmet popcorn and ice cream shop here in Decatur, Georgia. So if you're in the area, stop by. If you want to order online, order online. But we also do a blog post as well as a blog talk, and then we do live shows every Tuesday. Matter of fact, this Tuesday, January 8th, if you're watching this after that, go and find that video. But January 8th, we're going to have Mystic Mama on here. She's the womb goddess okay the womb goddess for all you ladies we're going to teach you how and get you started on how to better take care of your womb and your your vijay as well as getting rid of all the disruptions and all the um, cysts and endometriosis and all those kind of things she's a master herbalist she's a rn she's been in the medical field for over 20 years but she's a homeopathic uh doula the whole deal so that's tuesday nine o'clock join me for my lives every Tuesday at nine o'clock and then hit the subscribe button because you never know when I'm gonna go just live on the rip. Like sometimes I just feel like going live. This art video almost became a live video, but I don't have enough time. So we gotta go ahead and hit this out, right? So, um, so here's the deal. I was talking to one of my clients this morning and I've been working with this client. We've already changed a lot of things on his credit. We're already moving that up. Then we started build, working on his wealth building, so we changed some of the things in his wealth building parameters. But he had a little mishap over New Year's Day. So that New Year's Day mishap kind of threw him off a little bit. So he called me. He was like, Coach, 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 what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I got to fix this. I got to change this. How do I change it? He was like, how do I manifest something different? Like I need immediate manifestations and then I need you know, long-term manifestations so I can get back on track to the path that we originally uh, set up about a month or so ago. So I was like, all right, not a problem. Matter of fact, I'm getting ready to do some manifesting for myself. This and I and I'm gonna teach you what I'm about to do, and you can do the exact same thing. Now I call this stair step manifestation. Stair step manifestation. And let me break this down for you first and foremost. It is like goal, goal writing, but different. You see, oftentimes when people decide they want to write down their goals, they say something like I want to make $20,000 a month in, in 30 days. But they don't have a pathway to that. There's nothing in their life that suggests that. There's no pathway that they have to suggest that. Uh, that would be like me not owning Uncle Ren's popcorn, having a credit score that's like 400, not even knowing how to make gourmet popcorn or ice cream or, or delicious uh, chocolate treats and just saying that, you know what? In 30 days, I want to open up a store. I'm going to call it Uncle Ren's Popcorn and it's going to be making $20,000, $30,000 a month the first month. And I haven't written a business plan. I don't have any business coaching. I don't know about the industry. I just saw somebody else with a shop and I decided I'm going to have one. All right, I don't have a pathway to that in 30 days. There's nothing in my pathway to that in 30 days. But I do own Uncle Ren's Popcorn. I do know how to make those treats. I do have a high credit score. I got all the things that are in place, the path to be able to open up another store in the next 30 days and for that store to be in a location that makes twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a month. I have a road, I have a pathway to that. So it is not crazy for me in the, what I'm about to tell you to put that down as my next 30 days manifestation because there's a pathway there. There's an opportunity there. There's a way to get there. What I'm looking to do is open the road to get there, open the pathway to get there, reorganize my frequency, my energy, and reorganize the energy of everything and everyone around me. And because I do, if you look into my videos about he where heaven, 
I do, I do subscribe to the idea that consciousness never goes away, that consciousness just moves from existence to existence. It's a hermetic teaching. So I do invoke the will of those who have gone before me and those who are coming, those who are just out there. I want their energy. I want all energy, whether I can prove it, not prove it, see it, not see it, and not in the same way that people just have faith in a religion. They don't do nothing. Not that. But that full understanding of manifesting and utilizing frequency and energy and as above, so below, you know, uh, those kinds of things in order to manifest what it is I want on the matter plane of this existence, on this earth plane. So what I was explaining to him is that first I told him, I said, OK, well, I know his spirituality. So first, what is, know your spirituality. Whatever it is, if it's ancestry edification, if you believe in Jesus, if you believe in Allah, if you believe in, you know, if you, Yeshua, Yahshua, you know, El, Inky, Enlil, whatever it is you believe in, you know, Wiccan, the tree energy, the tree spirits, whatever you believe, first recognize that and then figure out how to use it. If you're an atheist, look inside yourself. Now, everybody actually. Look inside yourself, the God, God is inside. Get your energy right. You know, this ain't gonna work if your energy is wrong. Because if your energy is wrong, you're gonna have that doubt, that thing that says that, nah, it's not really gonna happen. So get your energy right first. Once you get your energy right, get your mind right, get yourself into the mode where you can see it, you can smell it, you can taste it, you can feel it. Get yourself there. And, and, and however you get there, I use meditation, I will sit. And meditate on what we're about to talk about and until I can feel it see it smell it taste it until I can feel the customers coming in I can feel the money in the hand I can feel the popcorn being made I can smell it I can I can see the environment I see the paint on the walls I see the door open and close with the little tingling of the noise when people come in I can I can see all that I see the you know the people putting the sign up I, you got to see it completely the, the first law of hermeticism is the law of menta mental, mentalism. And in the law of mentalism, if you, you first create by thought energy. So you got to get your thought energy saying that, okay, I, I see it. I know it. It's invented in my head first. So that's what I first told him. Get what it is. Get the first step that you have an open road to right now. And get that in your head. You see, I can't say in 30 days, I'm going to have 20 stores in 20 different cities. And each store is going to be doing, you know, monthly revenue of thirty, forty thousand dollars. All right, I don't have a pathway to that right now. There's no, I don't see that pathway. I don't have the connections, the networking right now for that to happen. Now, can it happen tomorrow? Can I, can I meet someone tomorrow and that person really just loves what I do and we have conversation after conversation and then by the middle of this month, by January 15th, they're like, you know, I really believe in what you're doing. I want to help you bring yours to a national level. And, we, you know, we want to push, you know, I want to build all these stores and all these shops. Can I meet somebody like that? Yes. Will I, will there be 20 stores open in 30 days? No, it's not happening. All right. Even if I had the money right now, it wouldn't happen. It's still going to take more than 30 days. So you, you understand what I'm saying? It has a stair stepping. So my next 30 days, open a second store. Actually, I'm giving myself 60 days. It's 60 days for me. So in 60 days, open a second store. Step one. Step two. Uh, 90 days after that store opens, open a third store. Step four. 90 days after that store opens, open another store. So it's stair step. So my, my vision, my goal for the entire year of 2019 may be four or five stores because like compounding interest, the more stores you have, the faster you can open up more stores. But the step is store number two, then store number three, then number four, five, and six. So I have to stair step it. So stair step your goal. Don't say that in the next... You know, my goal is my end of the year goal is I want to lose 60 pounds. All right. So 60 pounds divided by 12 equals what is that? Five, five pounds. So 30, next 30 days, five pounds. Next 30 days, second 30 days, five pounds. Next 30 days, five pounds. Focus on the five pounds. So when you get your pen out, you get your paper out and you write it down, you're going to write down your five pounds. 
for by the end of January. Your five, your five more pounds by the end of February. You may have your whole 60 at the top corner, but you have your stair step goals. Now, let's, now that you understand that, what I next told him is this. In order for you to see it, to smell it, to feel it, to, to as one person that I, I know say, to know it in your inner knower. <laughs> know it in your inner knower. In order to do that, you got to write it out in meticulous detail. It got to be like down to as much detail as you possibly can. This little, this, this card is only going to be for one little thing that, that I'm writing on, but it got to be like detailed as much as you can. Like the color of the walls, you know, the way that, what popcorn flavors are we selling? Uh, uh, where, what part of town? What, you know, what type of plaza is in? How much foot traffic it has? How many customers are coming in every day? What's the average purchase of each customer? Uh, what my employees, how many employees I have? What they look like? What is their demeanor? Uh, what is the, uh, the, the, the supplies, how they're coming in? You know, at what level are we buying supplies? Because I know how much supplies I need to buy in order to make $30,000 a month. So I gotta see buying that much supply. You know, you, you got to write it down in every detail. You're going to lose that five pounds. See yourself, you know, doing your, you're walking around the mountain or walking up the hill, walking the neighborhood, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You're doing plyometric, uh, calisthenic push-ups, whatever. If you go into the gym, you go to this particular gym. This is what the crowd is like in the gym. This is how you feel when you're in there. You're drinking your teas. You're getting your Mystic Mama Herbal teas. You're drinking your teas, <laughs> Mystic Mama Herbals. You're drinking your teas, you're, you're taking your tinctures, you're, um, you're eating a vegetarian diet or a vegan diet or a um, low, uh, low meat diet or whatever diet you decide that, is going to, that you're going to actually do. You're writing down every detail you possibly can, what kind of clothes you're wearing when you're working out, how you sweating, how you, how you smell, you know, what the gym feel like, smell like, what kind of weights you're working with. Write down as many details about it as possible, as many as possible, right? Detail it out. Because the more you write those details down, you got to write them. Don't sit there and be lazy and think that you can just think your details. Oh, I got it in my head. I got it in my head. I can't tell you how many clients I've had, you know, over the years. And they said, well, I got everything in my head. And like, that don't work. When I own UC Fitness in Alpharetta, Georgia, and I would have clients who didn't fill out their journal. They'd be like, oh, well, I, I know in my head what I ate. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, get on my scale. Oh, you know in your head what you ate. Well, no, I'll say, what did you eat? And they would give me the pristine diet. They ate great. They ate this, they ate that, and they ate so fine. So I said, oh, well, if you ate like that, you should have lost a pound this week. We get on the scale. You ain't lost a pound. You gained one. You know why? Because you're lying to yourself. Your memory will not maintain the truth. When it comes to things like that, your memory can't maintain the truth, right? It's going to create what the highlights. And then out of your highlights, you create a false narrative. So you got to write down the detail because you are not going to have them all memorized. And then you will flounder on something like in my details for this card, uh, it's going to talk about going to the SBA and working and starting to work with the SBA as well as reinitiating re my, uh, my airport certification because I found out some stuff about some things coming to a couple of few airports around the country. So in the next uh, seven years, so I got to get myself in, pre in preparation for that, right? So you got to, you have to write down all your details, get every detail you possibly can and write them down because that's when it becomes real to your mind. And when things become real to your mind, your mind sends that energy out, right? That thought creation goes out. And then other people don't know why they like you. They don't know why they're providing information to you. Your reticular cortex start kicking in and all of a sudden you're sitting up there thinking like, oh, you know what? I wanted to start a business, uh, you know, in, 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 in growing plants. And look, oh, the SBA happens to have a, a program that they're starting next month where they're going to start teaching people how to do, um, you know, create a, a plant growing business. I forgot what those are called. A, a nursery, creating a, a plant nursery. Or I want to do exporting and importing. Here's the thing. I had somebody tell me that one time, right? So it was like, it was like, oh yeah, I, I know. I know because that's serendipity, right? That, that's blessings because I wanted to start an, you know, 
Uh, I've always wanted to do an import and export business, but then, you know what, I followed your stuff and I started writing it down and I wrote it down in detail and guess what? The next thing I know, I look, I look, I went to the SBA and they had an exporting importing class that they running, you know, this year and I joined that class, right? And they're going to help me with my, I see they was like, man, that's a blessing, that's God, that's a blessing, you know, that they doing that, they just happened to be doing that when I said that. And I looked at him and I said, look, man, not trying to step on your God thing, but the SBA been running the same importing and exporting class every year for at least, of my knowledge, since 2006, when I first started going to the SBA, they had that class and they've run it every year. You just weren't paying attention. You just didn't go do the work. You finally decided to do the actual work and your reticular cortex sent you to the SBA and the SBA said, oh, dang, you, then you notice they have that class because now you are in the right frequency vibration for it. So now the class is in front of you. It's not serendipity, it's not luck, it's not chance, it's not blessing. It just always been there, you just didn't see it because your focus wasn't there. Writing it down in details starts is the beginning of your mental vibration, your mental frequency changing to be able to get in the right frequency to find this thing and get it and become a part of it. So the next thing that you're going to do and the next thing I told him, well, so do that first. And then, so the next thing, number two, the next thing that you got to do is you got to sit and meditate on that thing. You got to meditate on it. You got to, you, you have to, uh, based on your spirituality, based on whether it's, first, everybody got to get it in their core. You got to, you got to get into your God, God is inside and say that, you know what? I can achieve this. This is not something that's out of my purview. This is not something that's impossible for me to do. I know that it is within me to achieve this thing at a high level, at exactly the level that I put on here. And when the plans go, when the, when the rails come off the plan, that I know I'll be able to adjust and then make that adjustment and still flourish. So you have to get that inside you. Once you do that, as you do that, one of the ways is through your meditation, through you sitting there and, and reading it over and over again and focusing on it and seeing it and being it you know just being in the moment of it so however you do that if if you do ancestral edification call your ancestor to help you if you have friends and you if you're an atheist and you or you just have friends get that one or two person who you know who you know is down for you uh in the in the christian book writings it says when one or two are together and it says in his name but when two one or two come together of like mind but first they have to be of, of like mind and they, because it says, and they agree upon something, that's the key thing. The two people got to agree. If you do a business with someone and one person believes the business is going to succeed, the other person believes it's going to fail, even though they're both there, they're both doing the work, but one person is negative towards it, even if they never express it. It could be just the thought they have in their mind that every day they're coming to work, they're doing the work, they have a smile on their face, and but they're speech pattern will kind of tell you, their body language will tell you. If they're like, hey, I hope we get this. Oh man, if this don't work, we're just going to be, if they're always negative about it, y'all are not of like mind. I was in relationships before where things weren't going well. One person is trying to do the work. The other person is trying, is not doing the work or one person is doing one work. The other person is doing another work that is opposing to one another. You can't have opposing work going on and think it's going to work out. Right, you got to be in the same vein. You got to have the same ideas. Uh, I told you I had. I was in that relationship where I was saying, in order to make the, the the relationship better, we have to do the work to make each other happy, to make the relationship better. No, the other person saying, we just gonna pray that God make the relationship better. Two different ways. Now you got two people sitting up there praying that God gonna make it better. You know, maybe they're serendipitously do the work but you know, both people got to be willing to do the work and you have to have a willingness to understand and communicate with one another to make sure so if you decide to bring other people into your manifestation to to gain their energy their power their influence their god goddess inside you know you got to make sure that y'all are 100 percent in agreement 100 percent in agreement okay if uh, just a little bit of doubt all you guys who are, are, you know, it's the beginning of the year. So one of the things that I do annually is reread and re-listen to Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. 
one piece small inkling of doubt destroys the whole thing. So if you do this with somebody, no doubt. Make sure they have no doubt. Make sure y'all in the same mindset. Make sure both of y'all got the same details, right? That you're going and you're believing in the same detail. You're working, you're, fo you're focusing, no, not believing, focusing on the same de detail. So whatever your spirituality is, because as you guys know, as a hermeticist, as an alchemist and a hermeticist, it is as above, so below. The spiritual plane, the, the matter plane, and the, the mineral plane. There are the different levels of understanding, different consciousness. So let's get all things going. I want the, 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 the atoms vibrating in a way to facilitate what I want. All right. So for me, it is get everything involved in it. Well, you know, every spectrum of consciousness involved in what I desire to manifest. Since the higher planes affect the lower planes and the lower planes affect the higher plane, let's get it done. So you manifest, you sit in a room, quiet, you play some tones. I sent uh, a particular mantra to the guy this morning, but you listen to those tones and you listen to those mantras and you go over it every day in your mind, every day, all time. Keep going over it and then you commit yourself to the action. That's the third thing, final thing. You then have to commit yourself to the action. So as soon as you start acting, as soon as you start going to the SBA, as soon as you start going to the gym, you start going to the cooking class, um, you start going to the, one of the things I'm gonna do this year, you start going to the dance classes, you start going and doing all these things, then it'll start moving, it'll start moving. But understand, you're moving to space step one, then you move to step two, then step three. Make sure that your, your goal is something you can manifest, right? Now, a little bit out of reach, but not so far that you know you're not going to reach it and then doubt starts to become a part of what you do. So uh, I hope, I, I'm glad that you guys stuck with me on this video. I meant for it to be like two minutes, uh, 10 minutes, five minutes, but you know me, I talk a lot. So please watch these other videos that I'm post up here and continue to subscribe, join me, and I thank for all my Patreons and everything. Join me every, uh, every Tuesday night at nine o'clock for, for my live broadcast, Alchemy of Life. Join me then. Like I said, Mystic Mama is going to be with me. She is the womb goddess. We're going to get you guys wombs in health. We're going to help you get, have, if you infertile, we're going to help you get fertile. If you have men, if you have some, we're going to help you get there. So I look forward to it, guys. Join me. Remember, you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable.